Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now here in my hands, a beautiful rifle case provided to me by the people at Three Pigeons. Three Pigeons is a brand whose products we've looked at in the past, most specifically, we looked at one of their pistol bags. It's a fantastic range bag. It's been literally perfect for me, but today we're gonna mix it up a little bit and we're gonna look at a rifle bag offering from again, Three Pigeons pigeons. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through this in detail. I just busted this out of the package. We're going to go through all of the features. I'm going to figure out how to get this thing set up for my needs. Then we're going to take it to the range for some practical shooting and I'll come back and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Three Pigeons who did provide this for review. So as we get into this, just a quick little refresher. Their pistol bag, again, was a Three Pigeons branded product. So as you see here, it, that is their sort of home brand and home product. So Three Pigeons does have many products available for sale. This is not specifically a Three Pigeons pigeons branded product uh, but you'll see here on the side it is a Vodago uh, sort of rifle case here so three pigeons does sell these they did provide this for review and we're going to go through it again today so the first thing you can see here a very nice overall shape and size now this will be just a little bit limited in terms of what kind and of size of firearms I can fit in here but this is a 36 inch by 12 inch rifle case. So smaller of the two, they do also offer a 42 inch version for those of you looking for a wider option. Personally, for me, I should probably have gotten the wider one uh, for my sort of general needs, but this is going to be compact and it is going to work very well for me. You'll see that in a little bit. Now the next thing, 1000D Cordura Nylon, very robust, very nicely made. And this is in what they're calling their Drake Camo pattern. So they have a number of different colors available. I love black multicam, so when I saw the Drake Camo, it's close enough and really sort of has that general appeal. And I thought this just looked awesome. And as you look across the front of the bag, some nice features right away. You can see laser cut molly throughout. You can see nice large Velcro fields. Generally speaking, heavy duty inverted zippers. Excellent stitching. It just feels premium. But one of the things I'm going to talk about right away where I've struggled in the past, but this solves a lot of my struggles. As simple as this is, across the top, you end up with locking zipper pulls. Locking zipper pulls. It's that simple of a concept, but many manufacturers for firearms related gear, as weird as it sounds, can overlook that. But the fact that these are lockable absolutely awesome so depending on where you live depending on your uh, laws and you know what you really need to obey this is critical in my opinion so to have the locking zippers here is fantastic and that's the case in multiple locations which is awesome so again just paying attention to those details right away i am very happy with that now, one thing that I do need to point out, again, there is information on the Three Pigeons website, and then there's information that I get from the actual manufacturer of the bag. As I take a look here, this does seem to indicate that this is 600D. Uh, I don't know. When I feel it, it feels thicker. It feels heavier. Maybe it's the way they're layering up. I mean, I feel like this is closer to 1,000. But I could be wrong. I mean, this is pretty thick and heavy duty stuff. So I feel like Three Pigeons got that right. This does, to me, I would say feel closer to a 1000D. But then again, it's hard to say it may only be 600D. Either way, very nice and premium feeling. That's just something to consider. So I'm just pointing out what I observe. Now, as we go through the features of the bag across the front, again, you'll see here, sort of a fairly thin pocket. Now, this is not too large, uh, but you could definitely get some basics in here. 
uh, ear protection, you know, like maybe sort of foam style or, you know, in the ear style, something like that. We'll see how that goes. A pocket on each side. And again, fairly tight. These go to about halfway across the front, but you'll notice that you're not too wide in terms of the zipper. It might be nice, and it's, I guess, hard to say what's going on in the inside. That was just a little bit wider, but this should be pretty useful. We'll see how that works out. As we open up behind that, so we'll take a look here. Again, heavy, robust zippers. These will break in over time, but they're a little bit stiff right now, which is actually kind of nice. You'll see here, these are basically pistol sleeves. So that's awesome. The ability to you know, carry a couple of pistols in here. Nicely padded. Again, nicely padded. Beefy D-ring. Heavy duty Velcro, keeping everything nice and sealed. So that seems really nice. And then on the outside here, you'll see just some open mesh pouches, nice zippers. Again, very simple yet well done. Everything feeling really robust, just heavy duty and premium, just really, really nice. So, so far construction wise, this seems very well made. Left hand and right hand side pocket. So let's take a look here. Open, easy access, that's nice. I like the fact that that's just open. That's gonna work out very well. Extremely padded, you can feel inside here that padding is thick. That's about, oh, I mean, that's more than a quarter inch. That's real thick, heavy duty padding there. So that's nice. So that's, again, on the left-hand side, the right-hand side as we open this up. Again, the zipper is just a little bit stiff, but same exact thing. So. Some open pockets there. Now, what I do often like to do in this type of area in my bag is put my earmuffs. I don't think those are gonna fit here. We're gonna have to figure that out. Now, the reality is for me, I want this to be a fully self-contained unit that I can bring to the range and not need anything more. I need my rifle, I need my magazines, I need my ammo, and I need my protection, my PPE, my glasses, and my hearing protection. So we'll see what we can fit in here by the end of this. So the fact that these are kind of thin, not too wide, even though they're open and padded, it may leave me just a little bit limited, but again, we'll figure that out. Heavy duty buckles across the top. That is one thing I found with the Three Pigeons pistol bag. They're hardware, nice, durable, just very well done. They're not really Duraflex branded or anything like that, but I don't think they need to be. The webbing also feeling nicely done, nicely made. It's not flimsy, it's not cheap. Kind of like a mid-weight and fairly stout. You can see here, everything cinches up pretty nice. Little bit of a grab there, which all that means is the actual buckle itself is grabbing onto the webbing so it won't open up, so that's not a bad thing clicking these open. Now you'll see over the top, I'm going to remove this for now. This also having a shoulder strap. So the shoulder strap, we're going to get out of the way and a quick sneak peek of the back side of the bag. But again, as we open up over the top, the inverted zipper tracks, nice padded divider in the middle, pretty thick. Uh, that's not quite a half an inch, but it's getting close. And you'll notice this is a two rifle setup. So rifle on one side, padded divider, and then a rifle on the other side. Pretty simple in terms of the attachment points. Not a whole heck of a lot. You have those sort of pockets, both for the muzzle end and then the butt stock. And then you have a couple of the straps. This works just fine for me. You'll notice that you end up with padding around the edges so nothing can fall out. And this is again, good, durable, thick padding all the way around the edges. So really protecting everything and keeping your rifle good and safe on the inside. And that's absolutely the case for this side. Once you get to this side, you'll notice you are kind of running on that zipper track. However, once you fold this over, that padding does overlap with the zipper. So that padding does protect both rifles on each side of the case. So that should do its job fairly well. A reasonable grab handle over the top. Now I can't see exactly how this is stitched, but I can tell you, feels like it's gonna be just fine. It actually kind of stitches itself 
uh, down onto the inside. I do like the fact that they trim everything out, so you'll see that they do have a nice double stitch trim going all the way around. Some D-rings for, again, that shoulder strap, so that's very simple. But again, I can't quite see the construction here. However, what I can tell you is, I believe that this is all going to go down underneath this front panel. So if everything is stitched good and tight, we should have no problems with this potentially pulling out. But the back, really, really nice. I love this. The ability to leverage this as a backpack just adds a whole level of convenience, which is awesome. Grab handles on each end, box stitched, nice and stout. I love seeing box stitching on handles. These have a bit of a rubberized grip, so real easy, kind of tacky and nice. The shoulder straps, fairly wide, adjustable and removable. So if you wanted to take these off, these appear to come off fairly easy. You can see they're a breakaway design and they also have a sternum strap. So generally speaking, nicely done. Uh, again, as I mentioned, this should pretty much just loop out of here pretty easy. Pull these off if you didn't want them. Now, I do really love having the shoulder straps. Again, that's just a level of convenience. And that's another reason why I would love this to be a self-contained bag with no other gear needed. Just the luxury of having all your stuff as you head out to the range. Just huck it in this bag, get it organized where you need, and then you have this one bag to contend with while you're working your way out there. So that's the general features. Not too much more to really sort of bring up here. The bottom, fairly standard. Uh, the sides, again, just well done. And the zippers, pretty easy. So a good overall layout, but really time will tell. So let's get this built out a little bit, and then I'll hit the range. And so again, the first thing to consider is what type of rifle, what size of rifle you will be bringing. Here is my Ruger Mini 14 in 5.56. Uh, not going to fit, you know. So again, you know, had I gone with the wider version, this probably would have worked just fine. It would have been a full-size rifle case for a full-size rifle. But unfortunately, at this particular time, this is just not going to work. So I'll need to get this to the range another way. And what about my shotgun, my Mossberg 590 Thunder Ranch? Again, not quite going to make it, you'll see. Even if I went crooked, not quite going to make it. So you're going to be, again, very limited in terms of what you're going to be able to carry in this. But where this does start to make sense for me, I do have takedown rifles. So here, my Ruger PC Carbine. Now, initially, as you take a look, this is not quite going to fit, but however, the fact that this is a takedown unit and I can split this in half at this point, this will work. Now, the only thing I can tell you is I don't really like uh, my components rubbing against each other and sort of, I don't know, beating each other up. So what I would probably end up doing is realistically getting this in, Velcroing it into one side and kind of making sure that this is secure. And then I would either kind of buffer this out with a little bit of padding and get this in. But it's not really too conducive to that. With the size of my optic, I would have to remove the magazine. That's fine. And at that point, maybe this will fit in here. But again, I would sort of have to pad this out so that things aren't rubbing together. But this would definitely work if I thought I needed to carry two firearms or quite easy. The only other thing I would do is simply put this in the other side. Now, to point out the fact that this internal sort of divider is Velcroed into place. So if you didn't want that, you could remove it or you could potentially Velcro other things in here. So that is certainly an option if you want to get a little bit creative. The other thing that I do like, and of course, this is going to be a mid-tier, mid-budget item. I do love when on the inside you get a little bit of molly attachments so that you can actually keep everything from sliding around. Now, of course, that's not the case here, but it is something that I'm just saying I do enjoy. With no ability to really subdivide the interior here, I'm kind of stuck dealing with what I've got. But for my range day today, well, it's going to be my Ruger 10-22. Got a little bit of a project going on, some things that I want to practice. 
this is going to slide in here with ease low profile very easy not a heck of a lot to it again could probably pad this out just a little bit to help keep it safe but at this point that's looking pretty good so i'm going to get this all bundled in here and then we'll move on and the further i think about it just some soft velcro on the inside would actually go a real long way to be able to sort of pad this out or divide it out i mean that is something that i would absolutely love to do with just you know some little padding get the velcro stick it down and this would be awesome it would just literally be perfect no worries that anything would potentially get damaged but again mid-tier products usually don't have many of those extras but it is a suggestion for the future now i have a number of different types of hearing protection but here i have some electronic hearing protection I think that will probably go very well in the front so that's very simple yep no worries there that's going to be easy the other thing i'm going to put right in the front right here is my badge to get into the range that's another thing that i need just real simple at the ready so i will definitely have that right here in the front in terms of the muffs now depending on what i'm doing a lot of people shoot some pretty powerful stuff and i want to either be able to double up or at least have the muffs with me. Now, will they fit in here? This to me would be critical. And I'm gonna say there is no possible way. So that's a difficulty, uh, a little bit of a miss in my opinion, just not having the ability to like carry more of the basic essentials. So that's kind of too bad, but I'll continue to figure this thing out. My range book is absolutely a must. That's where I take all my notes, keep track of things, all the notes for my channel and whatnot. So, I mean, this is probably going to have to go on the inside here. I'm realistically, for this need, not going to have pistols, but this could go right here. So that's pretty awesome. That's going to be nice. And then the question is, well, can I get away with leveraging this? Oh, that's tight. I don't want to go doing that. Just throw them in. I mean, that's not going to work very well. So it seems like I'm either going to have to bolt on an accessory pocket here, which I can certainly do, uh, or carry another bag. So ammo in this case does seem to fit very well right here. I have no problem with that. I would like to maybe for this reason, have lockable zippers. This is not a deal breaker, but at the same time, that would be kind of nice, but that works out pretty awesome right there, so that's no problem. Range glasses, so hopefully those fit here, but even that's kind of weird how this all like bulges out, but again, that does work, so that's not too bad, so that'll work. My toolkit, which I do often bring, so I feel like this is going to work much better here. Which means these have to go here. And that's pretty tight, but I can get them to go. So that's not too bad. Which if I have my rifle, I also need my magazines. So let's see. I mean, the layout here is a little bit flat for things that have bulk and volume i mean i guess i could pop them in here but these are very square which would tend to want to fit in maybe i don't know slightly different shape so i'm going to pull these out this comes out of here let's try this which that's not too bad so that works and the magazines so i mean i only have four of them in here but i could probably fit a whole bunch and that actually works a lot better so so far not too bad and the only thing that i'm having an awkward time with really to be honest is the earmuffs so that's leaving it a little bit lacking but it's definitely getting there so, I mean, that's my basic essentials other than, you know, I could use maybe some medical supplies. I typically just huck those in my truck and have them there. 
because uh, where I shoot is literally right next to where I park. And I don't often need the med kit, but I guess that's why when you need it, you need it, right? Uh, let's see. I think the only other thing would be to get a pouch. Put that on the outside somewhere along here. Now keep in mind the fact that this is all horizontal. And then when I carry the bag, it's going to be vertical. So you do need to find something that would work. But generally speaking, that's not too bad. So now at this point, at least I feel like I'm set up enough. So let's get this bag and my rifle out to the range. Let's just have a little bit of fun. Alright guys, there you have it, a look at this Vortigo tactical rifle case provided by the company Three Pigeons. All in all, very, very nice. The quality of this, it just feels well made. It feels durable, sturdy, everything just very nice hardware. All in all, just a gorgeous look. I love the look of this case. Overall, nicely featured. Everything about this, in general, very, very good. So I do have to say, I'm happy with this. Now, I left myself just a little bit short, literally, by getting the shorter of the two cases. I should have gone with the longer model. It would have worked a little bit better for me, but you can clearly see that with the takedown models, that was no problem. If you have shorter firearms, no problem. I was able to leverage this both from my pistols and also the rifle, which was awesome. I had the ability to actually get this fit out with almost everything with exception being this particular layout leaves me a little bit limited. I can't get my earmuffs in here efficiently. That's the one thing where you would probably have to just add another pouch or something to the outside of this. For me, that's a little bit of a big deal where I do pretty much want to make this a self-contained kit, have the ability to go to the range and only have a nice, efficient kit, not need to carry multiple bags, just have the one really piece of gear with me and then everything that I need inside it. So if I could have just one of these pockets being more of like a gusseted pocket and could expand out to hold the headphones, I think that would work a little bit better. But again, not a big deal. I'm thrilled that this has the locking capable zipper pulls. That's fantastic. The overall just shape, the general features, awesome. So to the people at Three Pigeons, thank you so much for providing this for review. If you guys like what you see here, do me a favor, take a look in the description box below where you can get more details where you can find these. And if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless channel, which is more on my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, and backpacking excursions, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, backpacks, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.